selamat sore Jumpa lagi bersama saya Abdul Gafur Di pertemuan ke-11 BIPA Pemula dengan materi Berbelanja You can also download the material in the description box below And if you have any idea You can share your idea in the comments Naik motor, Naik can, motor. You, can you say which uh, uh, Which um, else uh, For example Naik bicycle Naik sepeda. Sepeda, yeah. naik sepeda. And what else? Naik motor, naik sepeda, naik Vespa. You know Vespa? Vespa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And then naik mobil, car. Mobil. Uh -huh. Naik taksi, naik angkot. Angkot. Mm -hmm. Angkot. Naik becak. Mm -hmm. Becak is... Uh, yes. Rukha. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then what else? I think that's all from there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. And if you want to say by foot or on foot, you can say jalan kaki. Jalan is walking, kaki is foot. Uh -huh. <laughs> jalan kaki is on foot. <laughs> Naik means? Naik means, like, no, yeah, it, it, it is literally climb, but in the context of vehicle, it means like you are using that vehicle. To tak jak po polsku się mówi, jechać samochodem, ale jechać na rowerze. Czyli coś na czym wykonujesz na. Ja, because, like you are nine. Nie mówimy na taksówce, tylko taksówką, ale, ale na taksi, po, po rosyjsku. Jest, na motorze jeździmy, na rowerze, na, na, na autobusie po rosyjsku. Czyli to jest to na. Okay. Oh, and also night bis. Bis is bus. Bis. B I S bis bis is bus bus, bus. Nike Nike bis Nike, Nike bis. bis like everything is Nike <laughs> but Nike vehicles like Nike, Nike everything vehicle like Nike bis and Nike kereta 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 is train yeah kereta 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 api <laughs> kereta api api is like fire like it's the old term but now we have kereta only it could be Naik kereta. There is a song for that. Naik kereta api. Tu tu tu. No, something like that. <laughs> I will not sing the whole song. <laughs> what else? So you use always Nike. Yes. It's always. It is like mm -hmm. buy in English. It is like buy. 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 It is after buy. Mm -hmm. Or you can also, if you are driving it it is different but, but not by plane Nike plane naik pesawat the same yeah, naik pesawat naik kapal so mm -hmm. naik actually climb but in the term of vehicle it means like by mm -hmm. if you are climbing the stair it is also naik tangga ah. <laughs> if it is the stair naik tangga or naik tangga tangga is stair double g double g tangga and if it is uh, on the second floor, it means lantai dua. You can say, for example, there is a direction and you want to show someone. And you can say, oh, Pak Mirza di bisa naik ke lantai dua. Mm -hmm. If someone is looking for Pak Mirza, for example, and then you can answer with, oh, bisa naik ke lantai dua. It means like you are going to the mm -hmm. second floor. Lantai dua. Lantai is... Floor, mm -hmm. lantai, floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the name of um, the seasons? Summer, autumn. We have only two seasons. Okay, but so. hours. <laughs> yeah, like I'm you... thinking about you. Musim <laughs> sam. <laughs> so mm, summer. There is not. There is yeah. Musim. Its season is musim. 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 Hujan. Yeah, hujan. Um, and, and kemarau. What does it mean? This is like summer. This is rainy. Oh, rainy. Oh. Kemarau is like dry and sunny. Sunny. Sunny season. Okay, it means rainy and not rainy. But, yeah, but <laughs> rainy and how not can rainy. You, how can you translate from English or Polish summer? Uh, oh, okay. Spring, okay. winter. Summer. Mus we use the same musim. Summer musim panas. Ah, panas. Ah. Panas. Panas is hot. You will say musim panas. Musim panas mm -hmm. for summer. Mm -hmm. And then after summer, we what do you have? Uh, uh, fall or autumn? Okay. We have mm -hmm. gugur. 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 
Musim gugur. Musim gugur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should put musim gugur. Okay. Uh, and then after autumn, what do you have? Winter. Winter. Musim dingin. <laughs> dingin or salju. Salju is now. Dingin is cold. So it could be musim dingin or musim salju. Salju, dingin. Salju is now. Snow. Ah. Snow. Okay. Dingin is cold. Cool. Ah, how is meat? Meat. Daging. Daging. Oh, okay. daging. <laughs> dingin, daging, different. <laughs> And then after winter, spring. Spring. Ah, musim semi. Even though we don't have it, but we still have the third. Okay. Musim dingin, musim panas, musim gugur, musim dingin, musim semi. And then when it's snowing, we can say musim salju. If we we saw we, we see the snow, then someone some like like my friends now in Indonesia, they're asking me, apakah sudah musim salju? Where is the snow? Yeah, where is the snow? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I always answer even even my sister. She's really excited to see the snow. Oh. And my boss in my office. Oh, we are sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe it will occur in But some of the lakes are already frozen. Like yeah. this today. Be careful. I went to Wazienki Wazienki Palace mm-hmm. and then it's all frozen. So. Yeah. I have a question. What, yeah. is, what is the difference between situ and sana? Situ and sana. The same. <laughs> the same. Yeah. Like for example, uh, you are asking me. I heard that uh, situ is mm-hmm. informal. Mm-hmm. No. no. Sana, sen, sana actually the informal. Okay. If you asking me, uh, where is the, where is the, what is it? Where is the kitchen? Oh, where is the kitchen? Where is the kitchen? You you asking me, and I will answer di situ, di situ, mm-hmm. or oh di sana, the same. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Di situ or di sana? Okay. Oh di sana. Oh, di situ. I think that that's both of the same. Di situ, di sana, and di sini. Because situ actually, uh, oh, di sana is formal. Sorry, di sana is formal, and situ is informal. Sorry, <laughs> because situ it means uh, like uh, from traditional language. I don't know where, but it's it's come from. It comes from traditional language. I heard situ also mean you. No, oh, situ in Java. Oh. Situ in Java, it's you. Situ in Bandung, it means lake. <laughs> so different. <laughs> And situ in Indonesia, it means over there. <laughs> okay, now today we are going to talk about, we are going to learn about berbelanja. Belanja means shopping. <laughs> berbelanja means having a shop. Having... Going for shopping. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to learn the vocab. Okay. Uh, as usual, the vocab first, so you know the whole material. Okay. You can write down or yes. Taking a picture. Vocabulary is kosa kata. Kosa kata. This is vocabulary. Pelajari kosa kata berikut. Berikut means follow, as follow. Pelajari means learn, like asking to learn. From ajar. Mm-hmm. From a- ajar is the root. Mm-hmm. Meets pe and e. Pe e, so becomes pelajari. Kuitansi, the same here. I'm asking about. Is it the bills? Yes. <laughs> really? Kuitansiya in old Polish. Ah, oh, what do you say? Kuitansiya. Kuitansiya. Ah, the old. Kuitansiya. Ah, in Indonesia we have kuitansi. <laughs> 
Maybe that word for the college. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. From <laughs> Latin. Yes, yeah, yes, from so. Latin. Most of like from Dutch as well. From Dutch, Greece. Dutch take from. From Greece, like. From you know how we say Greece. How do you say Greece? Greece country. Uh, Grecia. Grecia. Yunani. Yunani. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how you call German? Germany. German. 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 Dutch, Belanda. 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 Netherlands. Belanda. We say Belanda. Okay, now from the first, Pramuniaga. Pramuniaga is a shopkeeper. In a formal way. In a formal way. Shopkeeper. Pramuniaga. What does the shopkeeper? Shopkeeper? Uh, the, the store. Production. No, the, 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 the seller. The, the seller or the one who works in the store. Okay. Or sales. Something like sales. Something in the store. Pambeli. Beli. From beli, beli is buy. Pembeli means buyer, mm -hmm. as well as penjual. Jual is sell. Penjual is seller. So pembeli is buyer. Penjual is seller. Pedagang. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Pedagang. Entrepreneur. The, the one who sells. Like who owns the who owns the the shop Shopee. or the store? Cashier, casa. Cashier. 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 Pasar tradisional. So pasar is market. Pasar. 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 Pasar baru in Bandung. Pasar baru in Bandung. We have pasar baru in Bandung. Pasar pasar baru in Jakarta. And pasar baru in Balikpapan. In my city, we have also pasar baru. Like pasar baru is everywhere. I will check. Yeah. In Poland, we are calling bazaar. Bazaar. Ah. From Turkish. 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 So pasar tradisional it means traditional market. Pasar bazaar is the same. Pas bazaar. We have also in Indonesia bazaar, but. It's different. Like pasar is, we they have traditional. building and traditional, traditional. <coughs> and bazaar means like they they will have a sale. Okay, spontaneous. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So different meaning. Mm -hmm. We have also bazaar in Indonesia. But we get also pasar. <coughs> pasar. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. How you how you write bazaar? B a bazaar. B a z a r. A -R. Okay. Czyli taki taki staroświecki bazar jak u nas. A ten pasar to takie 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 jak u nas sukiennice. Pasar Swalayan, supermarket. Like Bedronka, Carrefour, we call it Pasar Swalayan. What does it mean Swalayan? Swalayan means like Swa is ourself, Lion surf. So serve ourselves. It's like like there will be no sell. You took you you take everything and then you will pay in the cashier. It means pasar swalaya. We have in Indonesia Indomaret, Alfamart, and and many, like a lot. Maybe a hundred pasar swalaya. Batik, you already know. Murah. Cheap. And what about expensive? Mahal. Mahal. Oh, we know this word. Mahal. You know that word, right? Yeah, maybe it's from Arabic. Mahal. Mahal. Taj Mahal. Okay. So mahal is expensive. Expensive. Murah is cheap. Baju seragam. So baju, you already know baju. 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 Clothes. Clothes. Seragam uniform. Ah. Okay, blankon. You know blankon? No. This one is blankon. Ah. It is a traditional hat for for the Java Javanese people. Mhm. 
You bring that? Oh. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Okay. <laughs> one day. You're gonna take a picture. Oh, one day. Wait, one day. I should put this on. Yeah. So it's better. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. For the next huh? Next time? For the next time, you, you have to make it. <coughs> yeah, you can make it actually. But not, they, they will sell it everywhere. And it's quite cheap. Mura. Mura di pasar. Mura. Okay. It's from Java, yes. It's from Java. Mm -hmm. <coughs> in 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 Yogyakarta, in Sunda, mm -hmm. it's different styles, but mm -hmm. mostly the the mm -hmm. the usage, the function is the same. Nota. Yes, banknote or or the bills. Banknote not bills in Polish. Banknote. Banknote. Bank bank ah, banknote. Quitancy? Bill. Receive. Nota, nota is a bill. Quitancy is a receive. Sorry. Harga. Price. Harga mahal. Harga murah. Discount. And what about free? Gratis. <laughs> free. The same. <laughs> so if you say like beli, beli satu, gratis satu. It means buy one, get one. Beli satu, beli is buy. Beli satu, gratis satu. Buy one, get one. <coughs> Next, we have kiosk. You know kiosk? Kiosk. Kiosk. In, in English, it's kiosk, but mm -hmm. it is a store or shop. It's Polish also. Kiosk. You know Polish also kiosk? Yes, yeah. Kiosk. kiosk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in English also kiosk. Mm -hmm. With K in the middle, in, in, the, in the end. What kind of store? Like small, small one. Not newspaper yeah. shop or... No, 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 no new, not newspaper. Not newspaper. Everything, Everything. But, but small one. Mm -hmm. okay. Like in, in, in like some... Book book. Book. Tech, tech. <laughs> tower. This is very important for you to know. Tower is bergain. You get it? Kuno. Kuno is vintage or old. Vintage actually. Vintage. The old one. For example, uh, you have a lot of kuno buildings. Vintage. Vintage. Like in 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 Krakow, mm -hmm. you have a lot of bangunan kuno. Bangunan is building. Mm -hmm. Bangunan is building. Mm -hmm. Bangunan. 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 Building. Gedung. Gedung. But gedung is only for a s mostly skyscraper or something. Like this, this is not gedung. This is bangunan or house or rumah. Gedung mostly like with five floor or higher floor. We call it gedung. 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 A building which has a higher floor, we call it gedung. And a building is bangunan. Any building. Mm -hmm. Okay, jajanan pasar. Jajanan actually like by jajan is by, pasar is uh, market. But jajanan pasar mo mostly translated into uh, snacks from the market, like this. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of mm -hmm. snacks. Kacang panas. <laughs> yeah, sometimes kacang panas is also in in the market. We have lemper, we have tahu or tofu, we have cucur, we have lumpia. Oh, cucur. Man. Cucur. This is cake. This cake is named cucur. It's sweet. Like most of them are sweet, but some are salty as well. Like this one is salty, we call it. Uh, 
forgot. Uh, pastel. Pastel. And this one is sweet. We call it bolu kukus. Bolu is a cake, like like a sponge cake. Kukus is a steam. So it's a sponge cake made by steam. By rice flour. And many more. Usually you can find this uh, in Ramadan. When Ramadan in Indonesia, there will be a lot of mm -hmm. store in the mid in the in the side of the road they will sell it freely like they will you will find it and it's very cheap in Ramadan because everyone is selling jajan and pasar every every single one cepat saji cepat saji is fast food Cepat is fast. Saji actually serve, but this one translated into fast food. Saji it means serve, serve, serving. But cepat saji it means fast food because it serve very fast. Like a FC, McDonald we call it cepat saji. Restoran cepat saji. KFC, McDonald, Pizza Hut. Burger King, something like that. We call it restoran cepat saji. Next, menawarkan. Menawarkan is offering. Offering. Menawarkan. Menawarkan. This one actually the the root tawar. Like menawarkan. It becomes offering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the last offer. Last offer, yeah. Tawaran terakhir. Sayur mayur. <laughs> Sayur is vegetables actually. Mm -hmm. Sayur mayur it means like many variety of vegetables, something like. Ah, oh, I didn't. Ah. Oh. Sayur mayur means like a lot of vegetables, carrot, cucumber, broccoli, and what else? Spinach. But this is related to uh, assortment. But in salad or in store? In store, not in salad. Salad is salad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like sayur mayur is in the store. Uh -huh. Like a lot of variety of vegetables. Butter. Butter is the old style of. Shopping. Yeah. You have all the same. Ah. Without money. Butter is without money. Like stuff to stuff. One dog for two cats. Yes, exactly. The same. This is the old one. Butter. Oh, you have the same word. Yes, it's from Latin. I see. You also have common words. What is it? Peron. Peron. Ah, yeah. Peron means the same. Peron, yeah. But tor. What is tor? Tor and Peron? Track. 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 Ah, but it's different in Indonesia. Indonesia, track. T-R-E-K. T-R-E-K. Track. It's from English. It's from English. Jamu. Ah, this is very delicious. This one is jamu. Like traditional drink. Made by herbs. From curcum. From imbir. Ginger, I have it in my in my door. I saw it in beer or ginger, okay. And then turmeric, like this one is, and how do you call how do you call it? Tamarind, yeah, as well. This one is kunyit asam from from tamarind and curcum. This one is beras kencur. Beras is rice. Kencur, I don't know. Kencur is some of the herbs also from Indonesia. Spice. Like a lot. And we have uh, gula, uh, gula Jawa. Gula Jawa means uh, Japanese sugar. And it, it has a red color. 
mostly translated into brown sugar, but more dark. Like darker than brown sugar. We call it gula jawa. Because it is made by the palm. Palm sugar. Palm sugar. Yes, yes, yes. Palm sugar. Big pieces here. Yes, we have it in our Ah, <laughs> But in Indonesia, we call it gula jawa. Ah, because it, it is mostly like maybe the old time Japanese people made it from the palm. But those are uh, hot or... Uh, it could be served hot or cold. Mm -hmm. And it's really delicious and sweet and healthy as well. You must try this. Mostly in Yogyakarta, they will sell it under the tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like one glass only costs <coughs> 500 rupees, which is, I don't know, 0 0.000 zoti, something like that. Because one zoti is 4,000 rupees. So 500 rupiah, it means zero point something. <laughs> okay, next, the last one is kain, fabric, fabric. These clothes made by a fabric, yeah. every clothes made by a fabric, fabric, not, not, handmade. No, no, it's not handmade. Fabric is uh, protection, right? Just like it's a fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Material. Like material, material of the clothes. So the raw. Not, not a factory. Like not a factory. Different. Factory in Indonesia, pabrik. Pabrik. Pabrik is factory. Uh, but fabric in English in is kain. In yeah. Polish it is fabric. Fabric. Fabrica. 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 Ah, okay. Very similar. In Indonesia, fabric. We will learn in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. I have the text that I would like to give you. I want you to read the text and please answer those questions Thank you. yeah sama sama okay there are two simple paragraph what not simple not simple really not really. <laughs> I think most of the vocab you already learned. Yeah. Read and ask me. Bering mm -hmm. Harjo is the name of the market, the famous traditional market in Yogyakarta. It, it, it sells everything. <laughs> And very cheap. You can bargain. Terotak. Located. Oh. It means terletak. Ter Uang kuno, uang, do you know uang? Money. So uang kuno, it means like vintage money. Like the old coins. Barang, stuff, or goods. Banyak barang yang dapat dibeli can be bought. Dibeli, both. So if you meet D plus verb, it means uh, like a verb three, like a passive voice in in, in English. D plus verb, because beli is verb by. So dibeli means both. Can you ex explain more? Because I didn't get it. If you meet D. 
plus verb. For example, believe. Believe is verb. Buy. But if you meet this word, the believe, it means both. Or people. So it becomes passive voice. So believe is buy. Because in Indonesia, passive voice is on is always D and M. That's it. It doesn't like like English. They have like five tenses with the changes from verb one to verb three, verb two, verb two, verb three. Forbidden. <laughs> in Indonesia, you can all only use D believe from membeli into D believe. What else? Sembako, do you know sembako? Sembako is basic food actually. Basic food like rice, oil, sugar, salt. Anak dan um, Anak is children. Kids and adults. Adults. Yeah. Kids and adults. Sembako is a uh, abbreviation actually. From sem means sembilan. Ba is bahan. Po, uh, ko is pokok. Pokok is uh, basic. Ba bahan is uh, basic food actually. Bahan pokok. Basic food. Sembako is nine basic foods. Like in Indonesia, we have rice, sugar, salt, oil. I forgot the rest. The, um, the other spices, vegetables as well. And all of them are together sembako. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if there is a, an earthquake or tsunami, then there will be announcement. They will need sembako. They need sembako, sembako. Sembako means the basic food. Yeah, the nine basic food. I forgot what what is it, but it's nine basic. So sem sem is sembilan, which is nine. Ba is bahan, bako is bahan pokok or basic food. So nine basic. Hinda. Hmm? Hinda. Hinda until or till. Oh, Sembako hingga barang antik. Dapat. Dapat can. can. So dapat dibeli means can be bought. Okay. You get it? Yeah. It's a passive voice. Okay. Barang Barang? Goods. Stuff. Stuff or goods. Bahan? Barang. Bahan. Oh, bahan. Bahan which one? <coughs> Bahan, bahan katun, okay. Bahan, bahan katun, katun hingga sutra. Bahan is the material. Material from katun until silk. Sutra is silk. Bahan is the material actually. Maupun memiliki berbagai jenis batik, many kind of batik. From batik kain, from the fabric, batik fabric of the batik, or maupun means or, atau, in, in this in this word in this sentence, translated from batik kain from fabric batik fabric, or becomes a clothes. Sudah jadi pakaian. Already becomes a clothes. So, you, in Pasar Beringharjo has variety of batik. From batik kain, from fabric. Or, or even it could be even as well.
koleksi collection batik kain you already know right batik kain it means like the material of batik the, the fabric hampir dijum dijumpai meet met met the close collection of batik met almost so hampir is almost almost in the whole market part west bagian is a part barat is west selain pakaian batik besides so selain is besides Kids. Yeah, but it's also mean for kids. Yeah, kids. Okay. So anak dan dewasa means kids and adult. Yeah. Okay. But it, in this context, it means that it is for kids. For kids. <coughs> What? Bagian is a part. Part. So part. Part west. West part actually. I heard a part. No, a part. A part. A part. A part. Yes. Part of something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Surjan. Surjan is um, like a duster, like a long dress. Like a long dress. But you have a long dress? No. A very long dress. Yeah, long dress. Blanco? 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 Sarum? Is a sarum? Do you know sarum? Yeah, sarum. Which one? It could be different meaning. Batik. Ah, yeah, average. Right. Long dress. Sarung tenun tenun means waving, like making waving. They they make it traditionally from from silk become sarung. So they make it. Traditionally, weaving. How do you say it in Polish? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Which one? Tenun. Tenun, tenun. Can't get any more trouble with the other one. Cast for. Cast for. Cast for. No, no, no. Cast for. Sarum is sarum. It's ada yang murah, ada yang mahal. Ada yang murah, so ada yang means there is cheap, and there is expensive. So it's like some some of the variation. Okay, it's like some of the some of them are cheap, some of them are expensive. What is sekitar escalator? Around escalator. Around the around, sekitar is around. Escalator is a lift for spare lift. Like elevator. Elevator. Escalator. Escalator. I think it's it's it from English. Escalator. So rata-rata is average, but if you only say rata, it's different meaning. Rata is flat, flat, like flat, like the table, like the floor, flat. But rata-rata is average. Just like eyes, mata, and mata-mata, they have different. But average actually is like you have 
visual. The average is on these two points. It's a very average, so it's yeah. Fine. It's all for the same. Oh, oh, okay. So maybe it's like maybe from that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So lebih murah daripada harga batik di pasar ini harga batik the price of batik in this market lebih murah cheaper lebih murah means cheaper like more cheap daripada than in Jakarta daripada is than No, you got all the meanings of this paragraph. <coughs> no. <coughs> Not all? Which one still? Maybe. We'll see. Now you can answer the questions. We'll see, we'll see. Nota and Tagihan means the same? Yeah. Because I was using Tagihan. Tagihan. Okay. The bill. <laughs> Sorry? I was, when I asked him for bill, I was, I was saying Tagihan. Uh, silakan tagihan. No, silakan bilnya. You can say silakan nota or uh, silakan actually. Nota tolong. Tolong nota. Tolong nota. Tolong nota. Not nota tolong. Tolong tagihan. Tolong tagihan ya. Because yeah. we, when we told tolong something, they uh, amend us to say tolong at the end of the phrase. So it is not correct. It's different, like different usage. If you say like long words, then For example, uh, bisa ambilkan sesuatu or be, can you take me something blah 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 blah. Tolong and then okay. it will be a gap. Okay. But if there is no gap, you have to put it in the front. Okay. okay. So please is different. But for the short one, you can use it in the front. Mm -hmm. For example, nota tolong there will be no nota tolong. Nota tolong. So you have you have to put a gap in the in the middle of so for example separate phrase so mbak for example mbak nota tolong so there is a gap but if you if you say mbak nota tolong it's there is no meaning of that you have to say mbak tolong nota yeah something like that yeah mbak tolong nota and pronunciation What is wishie and wishie, wishie in in? What is second or or above? Ah, wishie. 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 Oh, okay. Because like today, I went to the bathroom and then the maid are still cleaning and then she said wishie, wishie. <laughs> then I know it's like above floor. <laughs> I learn language from the other language, right? <laughs> The best. The best is body language. <laughs> okay, now number one. Di mana lokasi pasar bering harjo? Di Jalan Jenderal Ahmad Yani nomor uh, 16. 16. In what town? Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta. Okay. Yogyakarta. It's, the formal way is Yogyakarta, but the old written is with J. It's 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 a read Yogya, but they are still like keep it existed. So everyone, the young people, read it Jogja because it's the old spell from Yogyakarta. The right one is Yogyakarta with Y, because like J is read as Y. Mm -hmm. Long time ago. Number two, barang apa saja yang dapat dibeli di pasar Bering Harjo? Barang apa saja? <coughs> What stuff that can be bought? Banyak. Banyak. Apa saja? Mention. <laughs> Batik. Okay. Mulai. Dari batik, batik, jajanan pasar, jajanan pasar uang, kuno, uang kuno, pakaian anak dan dewasa, mm -hmm. makanan cepat saji, makanan okay. dasar campo tradisional, okay. sembako hingga barang antik. Sembako hingga barang antik. Oke. Okay. What else? Have you been to Bring Harjo Market before? In Jogja? Mm -hmm. I think so. You think so? It's close to the... Marlipur. 
to the to the fort. I think to the fort of um, the old fort from Belanda. It's close to the Malioboro. Mm -hmm. This is the photo. Yeah, the we've picture. Been there, you've been there. I think we've been there. And what did you buy? What did you buy? I, oh. I bought uh, extraordinary blouse from Batik. Oh, okay. You know, this one is from Brinkhart. But we go in, in the building. But it is yeah. inside. Also inside. Like it's yeah. big buildings. Also inside. And it has like Barat mm. and Timur, west and east, which is very big. Pasar. It was shop, not pasar. It was shop. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and when, what else? <laughs> Did you get? Did you bought? A lot of stuff. I don't remember now because it was two years, two years, three years ago. Ah. So no sense ago. And you can also buy foods as well because they will sell a lot of jajanan pasar in the front mm -hmm. of Pasar Brin Harjo. <coughs> okay, next. Number three. <laughs> Di mana letak koleksi pakaian batik di pasar ini? Di mana letak? So letak is location. Mm -hmm. Kios. Uh, uh, bagian barat. Kios, bagian barat. Okay. <coughs> bagian barat sebelah utara. So it's on the west, mm -hmm. but on the north. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like a northwest actually. Okay. And then number four. Barang apa yang dapat ditemui? Barang apa yang dapat ditemui di sekitar eskalator pasar bagian barat pasar ini? Di sekitar eskalator pasar market eskalator bagian barat part west this market. Sandal dan tas. Sandal dan tas. What else? Yeah, I think it's only sandal dan tas. What is sandal? Shoes. No. It's slipper. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not shoes. Shoes is batu. Sandal is like a sandal. Tas is a bag. Tas is a bag. Yeah. Tas. Tas is a bag. It's a bag. Tas. Di pasar Bringharjo. Berapa harga satu pakaian batik di pasar Beringharjo? Lima puluh. Iya. Iya. Di kampi dek? Lima puluh seribu. No seribu, lima puluh ribu. Rupiah. Lima puluh ribu rupiah. Okay. Can you be so kind and read this? Text. I will read. Yes. You want me to want read? To, uh, you want to listen? Yes. Okay. Yes. I will read. Sorry. After I read, there must be someone also no, to no, reread. No, no, only, only no you. I want you to. <laughs> okay. Because you already know it, right? Yeah, okay. I want to, to listen. That's why. Okay. Pasar Beringharjo terletak di Jalan Jenderal Ahmad Yani nomor 16 Yogyakarta. Banyak barang yang dapat dibeli di Pasar Beringharjo. Mulai dari batik, jajanan pasar, uang kuno, pakaian anak dan dewasa, makanan cepat saji, bahan dasar jamu tradisional, sembako, hingga barang antik. Pasar Beringharjo memiliki berbagai jenis batik, mulai batik kain maupun sudah jadi pakaian, bahan katun hingga sutra. Koleksi batik kain dijumpai di kios pasar bagian barat sebelah utara. Koleksi pakaian batik dijumpai hampir di seluruh pasar bagian barat. Selain pakaian batik, kios pasar bagian barat juga menawarkan baju surjan, belangkon, dan sarung tenun maupun batik. Selain itu, dijual pula sandal dan tas di sekitar eskalator pasar bagian barat. Harga batik di pasar ini bervariasi. Ada yang murah, ada yang mahal. Harga satu buah pakaian batik rata-rata Rp50.000. -rata 
harga masih bisa ditawar. Harga batik di pasar ini lebih murah daripada di Jakarta. Sumber IG Wikipedia. No, I want you to read. Ibu Monica, can you read the first paragraph? Pasar Bali Harjo. Harjo. Terletak di Jalan Jenderal Ahmad Yani Nomor Enam Belas, Yogyakarta. Banyak barang yang dapat dibeli di Pasar Bali Harjo. Mulai dari batik, kuda dan pasar, uang kuno, pakaian amat dan dewasa, makanan cepat sakti, pakan dasar jamu tradisional, sembako hingga badan antik. Pasar Bali Harjo memiliki berbagai jenis batik mulai batik kain maupun sudah jadi pakaian. Very good. Costa, can you read the next paragraph? The second one. The second one. The collection of batik kain di jumpai di kios pasar balian barat sebelah utara. Koleksi pakaian batik di jumpai hampir di seluruh pasar balian barat. Selain atau selain? Selain. Selain. Pakaian batik, kios pasar pasar bagian barat juga menawarkan baju surga, pelangkong dan sarung tenun tenun maupun batik. Okay. Selain itu dijual pula sandal dan tas di Sekitar eskalator pasar bagian barat. Harga batik di pasar ini bervariasi. Ada yang murah, ada yang mahal. Harga satu buah pakaian batik rata-rata lima puluh ribu. Rupiah. Harga fifty thousand. Bisa ditawar, ditawar. Mm -hmm. uh, harga batik di pasar ini lebih uh, mudah uh, daripada di Jakarta. Very good, super, both of you. Okay. <coughs> so, there is a quitansi here. Quitansi. From Koperasi Sejahtera. Koperasi Sejahtera Jalan Percetakan Negara Tuan dan Nyonya Aisyah Tanggal Tuan atau Nyonya Aisyah Aisyah is a lady's name So it could be Nyonya Aisyah So Tuan is uh, like Sir Nyonya is Madam Nyonya All the Tuan and Nyonya and because like maybe this word is from Belanda Nyonya you know Nona in Belanda Nona is Miss Nyonya is Mrs something like that like Nona it is the old one old spelling now we have Cherry Cherry is the girl <laughs> like Miss or Mba Tanggal 23 Mei 2016. So banyak barang it means the quantity. Banyak barang quantity. Satu pasang. Satu pasang means a couple. Pasang is couple. Dua pasang means two couples. Nama barang. Baju batik ukuran S. Ukuran is size. Ukuran size S. And what is it? Baju merah putih ukuran S. What is it? In English? Baju merah putih ukuran S. Blue, white, and red size S. Okay. Actually, it is uniform. Because the uniform of elementary student in Indonesia is white and red. So you will see like Polish... 
Holland, Holland flags for elementary student uniform in Indonesia with white and red. Putih merah, but we call it merah putih, red and white. Harga satuan, price per pieces, $110,000. Baju merah putih, berapa? Ini? The second one? $100,000. So jumlah, because it's only one couple, a couple, $110,000. Dan two, two couples, Baju merah putih, 200 ribu Jumlah is the summary, or total amount total. And then, can you read this? 310,000? Uh, 310.000 Good 310.000 now you have your own quitansi. You have your own quitansi. Can do we still have a time? Okay, we still have time. Now I want you to make quitansi from this. You wanna leave? Um, in ten minutes. Okay. Now pada hari Senin. Ibu Ina akan pergi ke Koperasi Sejahtera. So, Koperasi Sejahtera is the name of the shop. Di sekolah anaknya. In her school, in her child school. Untuk membeli buku pelajaran. To buy buku, book, pelajaran, study. So, study book. Dia mau membeli buku bahasa Indonesia. She wants to buy Indonesia bahasa Indonesian book. Bahasa Inggris, English, dan matematika. So math. Matematika. Harga buku bahasa Indonesia adalah 65.000. Buku bahasa Inggris 45.000 dan matematika 55.000. Now you make your own. You have your own quitansi here. You put the stuff. Mm -hmm. You already know how to mm -hmm. write down. Tuan and Nyonya. Nyonya Ina. Madam Ina. Tanggal. Senin. This week, probably. What day? Tanggal berapa hari Senin? This week. Banyak barang, maybe one each. One, 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 one. Not satu pasang, but for one book, you can say satu buah. Buah is a fruit, but sebuah. Sebuah, but you have to put in a formal way. Satu buah. Mm -hmm. Like one item. One item in, in Indonesia, we have satu buah. For books, for tables. For chair, for example, even though buah is translated into fruits, buah, 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 all set. Okay. Mm -hmm. So pasang means like set. Set, but but pasang is couple actually, okay. like a couple of clothes, mm -hmm. a couple of clothes. Like it means one okay. set. Yeah, it, it could be in, in if, we have, if we have for example a pair of shoes, it would be also sepasang pasang? sepatu. Yeah. Okay. Sepasang sepatu. Sepasang. A pair of shoes. Yeah. Now you make your own quitancy.
I have the the the, the video from Anna Tomchak uh, when she went when she went to Indonesian traditional market. Uh, if you want to watch, I will play. It's only five uh, six minutes. So you can experience the same. Next week on Monday, we will have the role play for as a seller and a buyer. I already prepare. I already prepared the money for you. One Indonesian money, as you will experience yourself. Pretty colors. What is it? Warna. Warna. Colorful. Yeah, we have like. What about credit card? Credit card? <laughs> you cannot use credit card in pasar tradisional. Oh, yes. <laughs> in pasar tradisional, you cannot. But in swalayan, it could be. Pasar swalayan, supermarket. Yeah, it could be. Okay, now here is the, the video of Indonesian traditional market by Globe in the Head. Okay, I have to say, sometimes it's dirty. <laughs> anyway, I love, you know. Because this is like 
Nama saya Toto. Saya cuma bisa jualan kelapa sama pisang karena tergantung ijazah karena pendidikan saya cuma sampai SMP. Terus keterampilan saya juga terbatas. Cuma pengalaman ini pengalaman saya jualan kelapa sama biru. Ini kelapa saya ambil dari daerah Sedang Biru, Pantai Selatan. Coba aku tahu, gambar pagi nanti gambar sore. Four morning atau four pm. Sering dibeli yang paling mesti wortel, terus jeruk, biji, ya sudah. And here, peanuts. Directly from the ground. My father, I can find peanuts everywhere. They're really cheap and really fresh, but not not like that because here you can see crab and it smells. Actually, it's so delicious. It's a plain. I think you have it here. I saw them in some of the roads when it's all falling. I don't know the name here. This is rambutan. Rambutan. Indonesia. Have you tasted rambutan? Like longan. The taste is like longan. But you can see like a hair. In Europe. I think cukup hari ini kita ketemu minggu depan hari Senin.